What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite action figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 88 MVP and Matt Riddle figures, man. This is our first MVP Elite since Elite Series 9. He was a part of Elite Series 1, and then he was a part of Elite Series 9. He has not been seen since in Elite action figure form. He's back here, man, and he looks better than ever, man. Eric Bischoff style, he looks incredible. The Matt Riddle, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about the Matt Riddle. I like the accessories we got, but we're going to dive into it, get in all the different things. Double jointed arms on both of these guys, so it's a very big deal. But I figured these were the two best in the set. The set's actually pretty damn good, though. If you look at it as a whole, it's a it's a really good set. I can't wait to see these guys at retail. But as you know, guys, front viewing packaging right here, I think next series is when we get the debut of the brand new series, you know, the new packaging, which will definitely be a breath of fresh air. This, this packaging kind of bores me for whatever reason, but here is the front viewing window. Both gentlemen here on the front. On the side, you do get a beautiful image of both talents there. On the back, you do get nice bio reads. If you'd like to read it, you can go ahead and pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave. Image of both the talents. Same image on the side of the packaging, which I think is kind of lamesies, especially if you do this. It's like double and it looks weird. But if you guys would like to pick these up, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's crack MVP and Matt Riddle out of their packaging and find out what these guys are all about. Do the comparisons and see where these guys are going to end up when we rank this set in just a few days. So let's go ahead and slam these hoes and get them out of their packaging. Alright guys, so here's MVP and Matt Riddle out of their packaging, and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I love to see the double jointed arms, man. I took them out, I posed them around a little bit. We do have some gripes about these figures for sure, and we're gonna get into all of those different things, man. But you guys know how the two-in-one figure reviews work, and we're gonna change anything up here. We're gonna take a closer look at MVP's accessories and MVP, then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Matt Riddle's accessories and Matt Riddle. So let's go ahead and dive into MVP's accessories and get going with this two-in-one Elite Series 88 review. So for MVP's accessories, man, you don't get a whole ton, right? I mean, his main accessories are his two entrance necklaces right here. So you got the 305 right there. I do believe 305 is Miami or South Florida, if I'm not mistaken. And then his other chain here says MVP. It's got good gold colors on it. I believe we have seen these before. I want to say these same accessories came with, or these two chains, I should say, did come with his first two elites. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. But they look good. They have good sculpt on them, the good gold color going on. So I like it. I I like the accessories there. Next up, guys, we do have his gloved interchangeable hands, so you do have the black gloved hands, and if you guys are wondering, I'm pretty sure these are the same size as Rey Mysterio. He does have the MVP logos on the back in the black color, but he does not come with mic holding hands, so he has the interchangeable fists, and then he, they gave him the running, you know, Rey Mysterio grabby hands, you know, from the SmackDown, Friday Night SmackDown entrance video, if you guys get what I'm saying. So, MVP logos on the back look good. It's the same Rey Mysterio sculpt that we've seen before, and the same size as Rey Mysterio, so do with that whatever you will but that pretty much wraps up MVP's accessories man not a whole lot going on but uh, I guess it takes care of the necessities so getting into MVP man starting out with the head sculpt bar none this head sculpt looks fantastic I'll, I'll say that straight away you can write it to the bank man this is one of the better head sculpts we'll probably get all year and this should honestly be the standard for head sculpts you know what I'm saying like sometimes Mattel just nails it and this is one of those times man I absolutely love this head sculpt I think it looks great looks just like MVP MVP. Really want a suited body, and honestly, once you guys see how this figure has done, you're probably, uh, we're probably gonna see that on surgery, because this guy has some issues, which we're gonna get into, and it's pretty bummerific, but the head sculpt looks great. If we go down into the torso, very similar to his torso they used to get, but I think they did beef it up a little bit, man. You guys will see MVP logo here. It is the black and gold gear, the Hurt Business style gear, which looks good. You have the zipper on the front there. You get all the nice details. MVP on the back of the figure. Really like all this. You do have double jointed arms which we love to see full sleep tattoo here he's got some more tattoos on this side it looks really good love to see that and i don't know if you guys have already noticed but my mvp figure has super duper loose shoulders man and that is so bummerific like it is not good. It is not good. The double jointed arms are fantastic. Obviously, he can grab his whole face, which is just excellent. But his arms are freaking loosey-goosey, man. And that sucks eggs because this figure is pretty damn beautiful, man. It looks fantastic. Going down to the crotch piece, you do have the nice gold pattern there. You do have the upper thigh cut there with the standard knee pads. And then we have the short kick pads, which is uh, pretty much his same figure, you know? I mean, it's, it's basically the exact same. 
Uh, I, I don't know. Did you guys just see the, the shoulder just move by itself? Yeah, that's how loose it is, man. God in heaven. But the figure looks great. Doesn't it look fantastic, man? It looks so good. Also, something that you guys are probably going to want to know is actually every single figure from here on out is going to have an interchangeable head. So even though they don't come with interchangeable heads, we do not have to heat up head sculpts anymore because they have made all of the heads removable like Marvel Legends. How freaking beautiful is that, man? New figures in surgery. I don't have to heat up their head sculpts. What a beautiful day it is. But the double jointed arms look really good, man. I like the way the figure looks. It's just those loose shoulders just drive me absolutely insane. Look how... Uh... So for your MVP Elite figure comparisons, guys, here is the new Elite 88 up next to the Elite 9 slash 1 kind of like hybrid figure I've come up with here. But uh, if you guys were, were looking at it, just the difference in the styles, man. You guys will notice that the torso is different. He's not as cut as he used to be so they did add that. They took that into consideration. But this is so cool to see an early on Elite, like 80 series later, and here we are with double jointed arms, true effects technology, just better figure overall, interchangeable hands. I mean, there's so many different things, even though, you know, hey, this figure's shoulders aren't loose. That's all I'm gonna say, Bradley. But if you guys also wanted to see what MVP looks like, the new Elite 88 up next to Bobby Lashley, here's the WWE Champion, and you have his manager there in MVP. And again, beautiful looking figure, just crappy, loose, awful shoulders but uh that interchangeable head deal is a massive deal man that is so huge i also really like the skin tone on this guy man the figure just looks super fantastic can't even can't praise it enough so getting into matt riddle's accessories man i'm liking what we got we got some pretty good stuff going on starting out first guys he does come with mic holding hands and these make the world go round right i mean mic holding hands should come with every figure every figure should have fists and mic holding hands it should be a necessity but uh you know the that's a whole nother deal for a whole nother day brad moving on we do have his hat accessory it does have his like stallion logo on there it looks really good so you get the matt riddle logo there I, I love the horse logo with the long hair and the triangle it's just a really good looking logo this hat though is it going to fit the figure that is a big question that a lot of people have i'm sure and it seems to fit the figure pretty good i, I like it i don't have any issues with that it feels a lot better than the last few john cena's and stuff not including the ultimate edition but it looks pretty good man i think it looks pretty oh snapsies i think it looks dope man i actually think it helps the likeness of the figure as well but really good blue color on there. I like the way it fits the figure and everything like that. So there's his hat accessory. We also have his Nike slides, which do not have any Nike logos on them, but they have a nice sculpt. I'm pretty sure this is the same exact sculpt we got on his last figure. So the slide do have nice grips on the bottom there with the outsoles. They got a nice little uh, texture zipper deal going on the front there. They are in black compared to his white pair that he got on his last figure. So that's pretty cool as well. So the slides are looking pretty damn good. You guys want to see what they look like on the feet. You know, you just slide the foot up in there and now he's looking pretty pretty good so yeah that looks pretty freaking sick and then for his last accessory guys he does come with a cloth t-shirt so the stallion battalion matt riddle beautiful looking logo it's the same logo that is on the hat if you guys are wondering and the colors are pretty similar it's like a light blue shirt with a light blue hat you got that on there and if you guys want to see what the figure looks like in the t-shirt i will go ahead and do that now so let's see here get him right there in position and just kind of give him a shakesy and i honestly i don't know man I'm, I'm not really feeling the way the shirt looks on there i will say it is a cloth t-shirt i'm not going to complain ever about a cloth t-shirt no way in hell i'm complaining about a cloth t-shirt but i will say it is not tight on the biceps like i typically like on the figures you know they've been doing a really good job on that but this one is not really cutting it i feel like i mean i guess if you push the sleeve up and it hooks over the bicep it will work you know if it like stayed like that but it is loose and it goes over the arms there so the arms probably could be a little bit bigger i think they did use finn balor ultimate edition arms so that's probably the the case there and what the issue is but you know it's a cloth t-shirt it looks good on the figure and if you guys want to see what the shirt looks like with the hat and everything like that there we go and i'm i'm liking that and outside of that guys he does have his hang loose hands here so you do get the hang loose hands and the mic holding hands but that wraps up matt riddle's accessories so diving into matt riddle man starting out with the head sculpt i don't know what it is man i'm not a big fan of this head sculpt maybe it's like the, I don't know, it's not like horrific, but I feel like his hair, like they make his hair too light. And also, like, I think they were going for this head sculpt right here or this kind of, you know, look. I think that's exactly what they were going for. But it doesn't capture it for me for whatever reason. Like, I just don't see it. And, and my eyes kind of look a little bit misaligned. But I don't know, man. It just, it's not landing for me. I think the eyes need to be repainted or, or something. There's something off about it. I don't know. Maybe I can figure that out. But I'm not a fan of this head 
sculpt for real. I think if it had turned out perfect, it would have been, you know, it would have been absolutely beautiful. His sideburns aren't painted as well, so that's a little weird, but going down to the rest of the figure, man, they gave us that same Macho Man torso. I don't hate it, you know, he is a pretty jacked individual, but I think the Seth Rollins torso fits his body mold better. He does have the mat mushroom tattoo. Double jointed arms, these shoulders are not loose like the MVP, thank Christ. He does have the double jointed arms, and one thing I've also noticed is, is it me, or is their veins sculpted right here on the shoulder? Like, that's, that's, I don't know if that's just factory error, or if that's legitimately there, but it looks really sick with the bicep veins going up into the shoulder veins, so that's pretty dope to me. He does have the double jointed arms, which we love to see, you know, he can poke himself in the eye with his thumb. Again, I think these are Finn Balor Ultimate Edition arms. Going down into the gear, this is, I think this is the gear that he won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic with uh, Pete Dunne when they were the Broser weights, so that's pretty cool. You got the orange gear. It's like kind of Halloween themed. Original bro, you got bro there, WWE logo, stripes on the side. I think he's supposed to have another logo there, but you got the OB there in the orange, black, and white. Not my favorite gear, but a pretty cool change of pace from the white gear, which is cool. Same jacked thighs and carry Von Eric lowers on here, which, uh, you know, I'll say it. You got the anklet as well. His feet also don't articulate as, as much as I would like because it's it's kind of hard for this guy to stand. At least mine is. But I absolutely love Matt Riddle, man. I love Matt Riddle. I think he's great. He, he puts on fantastic matches. I think he's just a really cool character. I don't know. I just like Matt Riddle a lot, man. So this figure is sick. I do enjoy it a lot. I, I think I do like it better than the MVP, and I really like the posability of this guy. But uh, I will say his feet are just really hard to like articulate forward like like this like to get it at that angle like that it is pretty difficult so you want to probably heat that up a little bit but i don't know maybe it'll be a little bit better once we you know get it going there but yeah that's what's up bro and then for your matt riddle figure comparisons guys here is the first elite matt riddle i think it was elite 78 matt riddle if i'm not mistaken so 10 series later there is a new matt riddle and I love this gear better than this gear, but I like the overall look of this figure better, I think. I like this hair color more as well. I don't know what it is. I, I just like the dark hair better. And the double jointed arms are, are way better, and they didn't give him Kalisto arms, so the, the arms are thicker there, and just overall, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to see this figure in the white gear with this formula, but I don't know, man. Another guy that I would like to bring to MDT. We'll just have to see about that, you know, get everything going, but uh, if you guys also wanted to see what he looks like up next to his tag team partner, you got R Okay, bro right here. They're not in matching gear, but at least you have the Randy Orton side by side with Matt Riddle, and they, they look good side by side, so you got that going for you, but uh, that does a very Matt Riddle figure comparisons. But anyways, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 Elite 88 review on Matt Riddle and MVP. Had a ton of fun with the review, man. These figures are amazing. I do hate the loose shoulders on MVP. Hopefully, I can figure out a way around that. Again, I probably will put him in a suit anyway. There's no reason for me to really have him in the wrestling gear, so we'll see about that, but I really enjoy the Matt Riddle. I was actually surprised how much I like it compared to the other Matt Riddle. You guys know I love the white gear and stuff, but I really like the accessories a lot. The double jointed arms are fantastic, and I love Matt Riddle, so that's that's bonus football points. But overall, guys, if you'd like to grab these, I say go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, and I would highly recommend upgrading your Matt Riddle. Upgrade your Matt Riddle to this one. It's got double jointed arms. It comes with a ton of great accessories as well. Not the best head sculpt, but I think we can forgive it for now. Maybe we'll get a good basic in here or something and the mvp man highly recommend man it looks so good and everything maybe you won't get the loose shoulder joints like mine did so maybe that'll be something that hopefully is not an ongoing issue with this figure it looks great great head sculpt and you can put him in a suit if all things, you know, everything else fails for you. But that wraps up my 2-in-1 review of Elite 88 Riddle and MVP, man. Thank you guys so much for watching the review. Let me know what your thoughts on these figures down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the freaking shoulder joints on this freaking MVP idiot. Idiot. Like, golly, man. Look at that. Oh, look how loose the arm is. Uh, oh my god. You crossed the